Okay, so here we are. I'm going to show you around my iPad since this is mostly what I use with uh, the technology. Uh, since I'm traveling so often, I obviously can't carry around my uh, music all the time. Um, I've been using my iPad more and more to practice off of. So I'll show you some of the apps that I use. And even if you don't have an iPad, hopefully you can find something that's equivalent um, and useful for you. Um, so when I took the time to digitize most of my music library, this is what I used. It was... Uh, it's called Genius Scan. I use it all the time. It works on really well on your phone too, even though it's a small screen. It, super clear images. You just take a picture with your camera. It converts it to black and white for you. Um, nice and crisp. You can export it as PB, PDF, uh, whatever you need to do. I usually export it to my PDF reading app here, specifically for music. It's called Fourscore, F-O-R score. Uh, this is probably my favorite app on my entire iPad. Um, you can sort by genre. I've got all these categories here. Um, you can sort by composer, you can label them, tag them with various things. Uh, it's very detailed and specifically geared towards music, although you can use it as a regular PDF reader too, which uh, I highly recommend if you just want to use it for your articles for school or something like that. The annotation features in here are fantastic. You can create all these different colors uh, to draw with or to highlight with. Um, and there's a lot of other features. I haven't had a ta the chance or the need to explore a lot of these, but there's a lot of options there as well. And when I took the time to scan my entire library, I also created a spreadsheet cataloging my entire library. And this has been kind of handy, maybe a little overkill, uh, but I categorize everything. I've got my flute and piano music, solo flute, piccolo, alto, bass, etudes, etc. Uh, I've got composer listed here, dates of the composer, editors of whatever editions I have, the title, when the piece was written. Great for if you're working on recitals and you like to write program notes, this is really handy to have. Uh, publishers of whatever editions I have, duration of the piece, details about how I got my parts if they were donated to me. Um, I have a section for whether or not I've digitized the parts. So I keep record of that if I can't find it, if I haven't uh, scanned it yet. I keep uh, track of the price as well that I spent on the piece, so uh, in case I ever need to replace it, I have some sort of reference point there. Uh, so that's most of what I use on my iPad except for the standard, I've got my metronome, tuner, all that good stuff, streaming services, some notation apps, um, and that's about it. Oh, and I also use this lovely foot pedal. Uh, there's a lot of options out there, but this is the thinnest one I've been able to find, which is exactly what I wanted for all my travel, so I just bring that with me. Links up very nice to the Fourscore app, and I can follow along with that and not have to bring almost any of my music with me except the, the essentials. So there's my little tour of my tech, tech space here. So I hope I gave you some useful advice on how to use technology to your advantage when you're practicing. I do use more than I mentioned in the video. Uh, I also use Google Calendar to keep track of things. I use notes on my phone, although I prefer handwriting things. Uh, I also use voice memos a lot to keep track of my practicing progress on various things. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot more out there than what I showed you. Uh, if you have any ideas of what you want to use when you're practicing, just search for it online and who knows, maybe there's something out there for you. Uh, so I hope all this information helps and thanks for watching.